on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Think for us to invite me down here on the Sunday afternoon. It's 2.14. So I just had a package delivered. As you can tell, it's open box Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And, uh, yeah. So if any of you follow my channel and uh, watch all my videos, which I'm sure you do, Santa's watching you. You know that I like to collect some action figures. Michael, what kind of action figures do you like to collect? Masters of the Universe. Not just any Masters of the Universe. I collect the Masterverse line of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Masterverse is kind of like the line that we're following here. And there's a few different timelines and variations and different things that they put into this Masterverse line of figures. So it all started with the, uh, with the new Netflix animated series, uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation. And uh, now we're gonna get a second season finally, it's called Revolution. It comes, uh, it's gonna start I think uh, the, the end of this month sometime or something like that, I can't remember. I need to get on it. But uh, anyway, there's all kinds of different lines and variations and different stuff in the Masterverse line of figures. So, that's why I end up with multiple figures of the same characters and stuff. So anyway, long opening here. That's what she said. So let's get to the good stuff, guys. I got a nice little uh, lot of figures this time. I waited to have them shipped until they all came in. And uh, I got a bunch of them here. So usually it's about four, but I got a little bit more than four. But uh, yeah. So uh, kind of a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting it today. I thought I would get it originally. I thought, well, it'll probably be here about Wednesday. And then I checked and it said, oh, it'll be here Monday. And then I checked again and it sent out for delivery. So, you know, ooh. I'll be looking at my address and sending me all kind of good stuff. You filthy animals. All right. So I buy all my figures, pretty much all my figures from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, they're, they're really good. Uh, they give you the option to uh, put all of your stuff when it comes in or when you purchase, if they got it in stock or, or pre-orders and all this kind of stuff. They give you the option to put it in your loot pile or pile of loot uh, until you're ready to ship it all. So you can order some stuff that's there have it put in your pile of loot, and then something might be on pre-order, pre -order. it comes in, it goes into your pile of loot, then you can ship it all together and save on some shipping. So they offer that. So uh, the big thing about me as a collector is I'm, an, I'm a box collector, so I don't open my figures or anything like that. So I hope when I get figures, when I get my stuff, that everything is in order, the boxes don't have a bunch of tears and look bad, and all the pieces and everything to the figures are stuck nicely into the clamshell. They're not all in there flopping around and going crazy. Sometimes that happens. So that's a big thing that I look for whenever I'm opening my boxes. And, uh, you know, not the boxes, but package and I'm, shipping, I'm looking at stuff. So anyway, what we're going to look at first is uh, Sorceress Tila. Sorceress Tila. Now, I don't want to give anything away in the cartoon if you haven't watched it yet, but too late. So, Sorceress Tila. Um, let's look at the box. Looks good on the back. Looks good on the sides. The front. And we have new boxes now. I'm not crazy about the new boxes. I like all the artwork and everything. But the old boxes had a bigger window where you could see more of the figure. And being a box collector, well, that's kind of what I like. Let me put this on the floor. On the floor. Let me put this on the floor. And uh, we'll get them from there. So I'll show you some of the artwork and stuff. It's, ooh, that was kind of, my tape was up. Eesh, I don't want the tape up. Anyway, so there's the back. 
sides, front, so this is enough Tila, I'm, I, I got enough Tila to last me a while now, so I don't need any more Tila, but that's the thing, uh, anytime a character changes at all in the series, we get that character. And then they release, like I said, other lines of characters from other stories and other time frames and other versions and visions. And so then you end up with multiple characters of the same characters. I don't like that too much. I say get one of every character in the entire Master Universe line out and then give us multiple variations. So anyway, there's Sorceress Tila. To go with my... 500 other Tevas. Now what we have here is something that I wasn't sure if I'd ever collect in my life because I didn't like the movie. The 80, 87, whatever, I think it was 87, whatever. Remember, the, they came out with a live action He-Man Master Universe movie. Well, I found a little bit of, of worth in the movie once I watched it again after all these years and I swore I'd never watch it anymore, but I watched it again sometime back and I found a little bit of worth in it. The, the movie sucks, but the one thing that didn't suck was Skeletor and the guy that played Skeletor, he did an amazing job and the costume and all that was amazing. And the woman that played Eva Lynn, which uh, she's a popular actress, but I'm not gonna remember her name. The lady that played Evil Lynn, she did okay. I'm not crazy about her, uh, the way she looked, really. I'm going to yawn. <laughs> but anyway, I've got the movie version, Evil Lynn. And the box from the side looks okay. The back looks okay. Side, this side looks okay. Bottom, everything looks okay, figure looks okay. So here she is. Side panel, back, side panel. So, you know, it is what it is. Now there are figures for the Masterverse line that I'm not going to collect. And I'm 100% on that. And uh, that's the new adventure of uh, He-Man that came out in the early 90s. Uh, I think it came out maybe in 89 or something like that. And it, it, it ran, you know. So new adventure, I'll never collect. Horrible. So now we have New Eternia. Uh, Man at Arms. Now, I've already got a couple of Man at Arms and Master Verse uh, collection as well. Uh, I went ahead and got him. Again, I don't like buying, you know, all these redos, all these different versions, but if you don't get them, then you don't have it. And then 10 years down the line, you're, you're wishing that you had them. So, Some of the tape is not on there terrifically. What does that matter? Well, when I die, my family might want to sell these and they might be worth something. And uh, if you're going to sell them as unopened, they got to be unopened. And uh, if somebody thinks the tape is messed with, then that's not good. So anyway, new Eternia. Now, this is a different version. It's a different, you know, uh, dementia, a different timeline, whatever of man at arms. I mean, he basically looks the same in all of his timelines, but anyway, all the characters resemble their selves in all the timelines, and there's just little differences here and there. Different color variations, different armor, different kind of stuff. But they all look pretty much like they should. So we got man at arms, side panel, And this is probably my third Man-at-Arms. So, it's kind of crazy. As a kid, you know, as a kid I had 
a few different versions of He-Man and a few different versions of Skeletor and pretty much everything else was just like one version. So that was the only stuff that I was accustomed to getting multiples of. Now here I am getting three or four Tila, three or four Man at Arm, a couple of different Beast Man, a couple of this, a couple of that, and I'm just like, it's crazy. So, anyway. So now we got another one, of course, that I have a couple of different versions of already. Let me check the box. Looks okay. And this is New Eternia Trap Jaw. New Eternia Trap Jaw. Trap Jaw has always been one of my favorites. And uh, I don't think it was utilized enough in the cartoon, in the, uh, like the original cartoon. A lot of these characters never were. Uh, it was always about He Man and Skeletor and He Man saving the day. And then you got a lot of these other characters that are just kind of. But they're never a real threat. Nobody's ever a real threat, you know. And uh, I always wanted these guys to be real th a threat, you know. Some killing and some danger and, you know. So, Trap Jaw was one of those that I always wanted to see whoop some butt. I like him. So, let's look at Trap Jaw. Side panels. Back. Add front. Oh. Now, if you go, if you want to see real good detailed images of these, you can go online and find better stuff than what I'm showing you. This is just a nice little unboxing. And like I mentioned, lots of versions of Skeletor. So this uh, this Skeletor here comes into play in the new season of the cartoon that we're going to get. It's going to be, you know, Revolution, not Revelation, but Revolution. So this is the new version of that Skeletor that we're going to get. So, box looks fine here, fine there, fine there. You know, like I said, I liked all the artwork and everything. I just wish the window was bigger. Uh, so I can see the characters. So here's the new Skeletor. I think this version of Skeletor is called Skeletech or something like that because he's all teched out. Uh, you'll know that if you watch the cartoon. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, and all their accessories are kind of all hidden in here. You can't really see the accessories, so. Eh. Now we'll save the big reveal here. Again, this is going to touch base on the actual live action movie that came out in the late 80s, along with the new. Uh, series. So, this in here is kind of special. It's kind of cool. So, I think really for about the first time, I could be wrong, we have a Gwildor. That's his name, Gwildor. And Orko. This is a different Orko from the Revelation cartoon that you see at the end of the first season. So, Gwildor and Orko. Um, Gwildor is basically, that's what they went to in the movie because they couldn't afford or know how as well to do a Orko. You know, Orko is a, 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 a wizard, you know, and he floats and he's all over the place. And so, they didn't have the technology and probably the budget to really uh, give us a proper Orko in the movie. So we got a, a Gwildor. So I don't have any attachment to the Gwildor character. However, it is cool that we have him, uh, you know, in our collection now. And I have seen other people do their unboxings and they take him out and look at him and 
he's really uh, a nice little figure. So lots of you know articulation and all the characters and that. And, and uh, I'm glad I can see Orko's eyes. I wasn't sure if his head would be tilting down because his head rotates and moves. It's kind of on a ball joint. So I'm glad that his head is up where I can see the eyes. So let me take a quick look at the box. Tape looks okay. Side panel. All around, looks good. Good stuff. Bottom, good. Everything is as is. Looks good. So we got Gwildor and Orko. Side panel. Back. So uh, a lot of the fans, or just people that like to complain, will say, we're kind of upset about this box set here because they're saying that it gives us a spoiler into the uh, second season of Revelation, which is Revolution, like I mentioned. And they're saying that we're getting a glimpse into that season by having Gwildor packaged with Orko. Now, that very well could be or it very well could be maybe they wanted to stick the two together that were supposed to, you know, he was, you know, Orko should have been in a movie, but they put Gwildor instead for cost and reasons and lack of technology, probably. So maybe they just wanted to combine them in one package to pay kind of homage to, you know, the whole thing. I don't know. Uh, we won't know until the new season comes out. So, uh, Anyway, I'm happy with all of them. They all look good. All the boxes are good. Uh, if you collect things of this nature and uh, other such things, check them out. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. But uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, they, all, they come through. They have good stuff. Uh, I never get any bad products. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with them. So I got more to add to my collection. Uh, they're already... Uh, I already have two figures on pre-order that come out early in 2024, and plus they got a bunch more uh, prepared and talking about and in the making and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So uh, hopefully 2024 is going to be another good year for Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, or any line uh, uh, that is out there. We, we, we want all the Masters of the Universe stuff to succeed. So... Anyway, guys, that's my little unboxing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I don't have my shelves up yet. I'm going to buy shelves eventually and get all my stuff put back up. And uh, But it's just been it's been hard, you know, because we moved in October, and that's when all the holiday stuff starts. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend any more money on just shelves. So eventually I'll get all my shelves put up, and we'll get all my figures put out there, and we'll have kind of a look at all my stuff then. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the unboxing. Uh, this channel is not just about working out or just about nutrition and food and all that stuff. It's about also things mentally and, and all that stuff to stimulate you and makes you happy. Uh, anything from something like this to playing drums, art, photography, you know, anything. Anything that brings you some uh, real joy in your life. So uh, anyway, that's why these things are on my channel. So anyway, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your Masters of the Universe host. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Ain't that right, Will Door? Yeah, brother, that's right, man, that's right. Subscribe to his channel, he's pretty cool. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!